This is the third video taking a look at solving equations and inequalities. Here we've got 5a minus 2 is equal to 3a plus 6. So here what we need to do is we're looking to get to a situation again where we've got a is equal to a number. We're trying to find out the value of the letter a. So in order to do this we need to get all of our a's on one side, all of our numbers on the other. At the moment we've got a's on this side and a's on this side and we've also got numbers on this side and numbers on this side so we need to sort that out so the way in which I'm going to do this the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take away the smallest letter so the smallest letter here I've got 3a I'm going to take away 3a so what I'm doing essentially is I'm taking away 3a from both sides and what that does is it gets rid of that 3a there so 5a minus 3a that's going to leave me with just 2a and then I've got 2a minus 2 is equal to just 6 so I've taken away 3a from both sides that's got rid of this 3a here and I'm just left with 2a minus 2 equals 6 then I need to get rid of this negative 2 so in order to do that I'm going to add 2 to both sides adding 2 to both sides that leaves me with 2a is equal to 6 plus 2 which gives me 8 then the last thing that I need to do if 2 a's are equal to 8 then one of those a's is going to just be 4 so again what I could say I'm doing here is I'm dividing by 2 I'm dividing by the number in front of the letter okay second example I've got 4a minus 4 is equal to 9a plus 6 so again I'm going to take away the smallest a so I'm going to take away this 4a and by doing that I'm, like I say doing it to both sides it gets rid of the 4a there and it gives me 9a minus 4a on the other side so the next line of my equation would be negative 4 because I've taken away the 4a and then I've got 9a minus 4a that gives me 5a plus 6 from this point I then need to um, I need to get to a point at which I've got a is equal to something so I need to get rid of this plus 6 at the moment I've got 5a and plus 6 on the same side I want to be in a position where I've just got a on one side and a number on the other so I'm going to get rid of the plus 6 by taking away 6 so what that leaves me with minus 4 minus 6 that leaves me with minus 10 so minus 10 is equal to 5a and we got rid of the plus 6 so it's just minus 10 equals 5a now at this point I need to just fi figure out what a is equal to what is a equal to just by itself so 5a is equal negative 10 so I need to get rid of this 5 here the way in which I'm going to do that is I'm simply going to divide by 5 divided by the number in front of the letter that gives me negative 2 so a is equal to negative 2 next one I've got a plus 2 this time it's an inequality I've got a plus 2 is greater than or equal to 5a plus 6 so again let's get rid of the smallest letter by taking it away I've got 8a minus 5a that leaves me with 3a then it's 3a plus 2 is greater than or equal to I've lo lost that 5a I've got rid of it by taking it off and that's equal to 6 or it's not equal to 6, it's greater than or equal to 6. So next up, I now need to get rid of this plus 2. So I'm going to get rid of the plus 2 by taking it away. And so what I'm left with is 3a is greater than or equal to 6 minus 2, which is 4. Then lastly, all that I need, now need to do is figure out what a is equal to, or a is, sorry, I keep saying that, a is greater than or equal to, so I'm just going to have to divide by the number in front of the letter so divide by 3 and so that gives me 4 thirds which if I wanted to I could write as 1 and 1 third okay next one I've got 5a plus 15 is smaller than 7a plus 6 so again I'm just going to get rid of the smaller letter by taking it away so what I'm left with is 15 is smaller than 7a plus 6 
So again, I'm trying to figure out what a is greater than. And so I'm, this plus 6 is in the way, so I'm going to get rid of it by taking it off. So 15 minus 6, that's going to give me 9. And 9 is smaller than 7a. So now I'm at this point here, all that I need to do, I need to figure out what just 1a is greater than. At the moment I know that 7a is greater than 9. I want to figure out what just 1a is greater than. And so to find this out, I'm just going to take the 9 and divide it by 7. So 9 divided by 7, I'm just going to write that as 9 sevenths and leave it there.